Hi everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Hello, teacher. Good teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. Amazing. Okay, we're going to begin with our new class. Thank you for joining. And well, just a second, I'm looking for the, the attendance. Okay, uh, tell me, how was your day? How was your day? How was your day? Busy. Fine, teacher. Fine? Well, Busy? Good. Was it good? Okay. Amazing. I'm going to start and I will pass attendance. Please help me out. Once you listen to your name, stay present. Let's go. Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia. Present teacher. Thanks. Tell me. Present teacher. Here. Edith. Present. Here. Eduardo. Evelyn. Evelyn. Fatima. Fatima. Let's continue with Griselda Garcia. Here. Griselda Mendoza. Griselda Mendoza. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ay, Griselda García está escribiendo que no va a poder entrar. La veo conectada. Y dos personas más. La veo conectada ahorita a Griselda García. Bueno. No sé. Vamos a ver si nos contesta. Griselda García. Griselda Mendoza. Oh, hello, welcome. Ingrid. Hello, Griselda. Ingrid. Y yeah, a Ingrid, creo que se tiene problemas. Iris. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Irving. Present, teacher. Thank you, Josué. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you, Lea. Present teacher. Thank you, Lea. Marta. Present teacher. Thanks. Pierna Batres. Present teacher. Thank you, Mercedes. Mercedes. So here, yes. Mirna Suniga. Present teacher. How are you, Mirna, by the way? ¿Cómo está, Mirna? Eh, ya ahí me duele la mano, pero. ¿Todo bien? Más o menos. Ok, I hope you can feel better. Espero que se sienta mejor. Muchas okay. gracias. Yeah. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar. Present teacher. You, Oscar. Paula. Present. Thank you. Paula. Present. Thank you. Rolando. Present teacher. Thank you. William. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Yolanda. Present. Thank you. Okay. He incluido porque vi que ingresó, pero creo que se salió después. Solamente tuvo un problema. Le agregué a Ingrid. Vamos por acá. ¿Algo más que no he mencionado? ¿Alguien que no he mencionado? 
Gerardo? Evelyn, no la había puesto. Ahorita. Fátima. Ponemos pendiente a Fátima, Mercedes. Mercedes y Eduardo Vázquez escribieron también que no Eso podían. Eso escribieron. Entrar. Ajá. Okay. H. Mercedes y Eduardo Vázquez. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll continue. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to take some screenshots. Please help me out. Si me pueden ayudar con las uh, capturas de pantalla, please. Vamos, por favor, la cuenta de tres, uno, dos, tres. Ok. Veamos si no tengo dos pantallas. Vamos otra vez si usen con otra captura. Ok, vamos. Uno, dos, tres. Perfecto. All right. Thank you. Before to begin, uh, recordemos este. Que tenemos una serie de mensaje de Zelda. Okay, let's begin. Bueno, este, recordemos este día debemos de completar toda la plataforma junto con el final test. Quisiera saber los que estamos pendientes si tienen preguntas, o mejor dicho, quienes están pendientes con probablemente el final test o alguna actividad de la sección 5. ¿Quiénes estamos pendientes? ¿Todos hemos completado? ¿Sí? ¿No? Ya yes, yes, yes. terminé. Creo que ya todos, ¿verdad? Todos yes, hemos yes. completado. Si alguien hace falta, recuerde que tienen hasta ese día para completar todas las cinco secciones. Y, bueno, incluyendo el, el meter y el final test. El final test es lo último que tenemos. Creo que ya la mayoría hemos terminado. Yo pues voy a actualizar ahora por la noche lo último. Una actualización ayer, es que voy a actualizar ahora. Eh, si la línea estaba pendiente y lo, lo terminó hace día, pues, excelente. Que básicamente hemos culminado, si alguien, repito, alguien hace, está pendiente de hacer alguna actividad, hacer el penal test, hacerles el laboratorio que tiene a este día para completar. Ya mañana, pues ya tendría que estar todo completo desde ahora. Mañana tenemos clase y recuerden, siempre debemos de unirnos. Eh, todos, vamos a estar presentes porque ya sería la última sesión. Veo a Fátima antes que se me vaya a escapar. Fátima. Ya la puse en lista, Fátima. No sé. Este, ¿qué más? Bueno, no sé si tienen dudas, preguntas. Mañana recuerden, es clase normal. Siempre de 9 a 10. En la última sesión. Se de Mendoza, sí, dígame. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Present. Fine, thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. Sí, ya tengo en lista a Fátima y a Griselda. Gracias. Creo que solo estamos pendientes con Mercedes y Eduardo. Thank you. Ok, bueno, si no hay preguntas, si es que hemos completado. 
bueno, no sé si me escuchó cuando en su momento lo mencioné, Fátima. No sé si ha completado eh, la plataforma. Bueno, te... Sí, 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 ya la completé. Ok, thank you. ¿De Celda Mendoza? Hola, teacher. Hello. Eh, yo tengo una consulta con el ¿Qué? examen final. Yo ya lo completé, pero en la como en la barrita de progreso me, me aparece como que no he hecho nada. Entonces, no sé si para mañana ya va a estar actualizado. Le, le, le aparece como en gris. Ajá. Ah, ok. Es, es lo que explicaba ayer. Permíteme, lo explico ahorita. Déjenme mostrarle. Ok, es, es lo que explicaba ayer, no, no se preocupen, si les aparece así, ya les paso ahorita. Encuentro la, la imagen que envió. Que okay, si ya terminamos todo y hemos revisado el progreso, les aparece así, no se preocupen. De esa forma. ¿Sí le parece, Griselda? Sí. Hey. Ayer, ayer les, les comentaba de que cuando les aparece así, no se preocupe. No quiere decir que todavía no. Ya hice el, el, el examen final y me aparece en gris, como que estuviera incompleto. Es decir, no está la barra toda completa al 100%, por decirlo así. No se preocupen, porque acá está, pues, eh, eh, está especificado. Es decir, de la, en ese caso de la sección 1 a la sección 5, eh, y el promedio de las, de las secciones está de un solo color, un color rojo claro. El promedio del meter, ese del meter, el examen meter que hicieron, ese está de otro color. Está señalado con un rojo más oscuro. Y del final test está en gris. Acá en total les va a aparecer dividido. Es decir, el porcentaje de las secciones, de las actividades de la sección, de cada sección, el porcentaje del meter, que es el rojo más oscuro, y el gris, que es el porcentaje o el promedio del test. En total es 100. Entonces, que no se preocupe. No es que no lo he, no, no lo he no es actualizado, o no es que, por ejemplo, ya lo hice, pero no me parece porcentaje, no me parece completo. Tengo que estar seccionado. No se preocupe. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Si ya completó todo, igual no se preocupe. Bueno, si ya completamos todos, excelente. Muchas gracias. Felicidades. Congratulations. Y bueno, a seguir así. A seguir. A seguir a hacer mucho más. Y a, a seguir aprendiendo más. ¿Ok? Claro que sí. Well, hola, is... hola teacher, ¿Dime? disculpe. ¿Dime? Este, el día de ayer le estaba comentando que se me este, fue la luz el día de anoche y ya no escuché lo último y en el grupo vi que mandó como un link más que todo de lo que oh. estábamos viendo de la clase de ayer, sí, de anoche. Sí. sí, ayer compartí un link en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp si no lo ha desarrollado el ejercicio, es una práctica con ustedes. Práctica con respecto a, a, la, la, a la hora, cómo es pasar la hora. Es, Porque es que... estoy, uh -huh. estoy llenando yo ahora los... Ahora estaba viendo eso. Y hay unos ejercicios que ya los estoy completando. Ah, ok. Sí, no se preocupe, eso es una, una práctica para ustedes. No, no es okay. ponderado, solo es una práctica para que ustedes sean en el proceso, sigan practicando lo que se ha visto. Okay, yeah. okay. okay, well, let's begin. This is class number 15. Today is Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. The topic for today is pressing continuous. And we're going to focus on WH questions. Okay, yeah, in the previous classes, We're talking about the pressing continuous, but we're using affirmative, negative, and just a question. Right? In the classes anteriores, in the classes pasadas, we must in, iniciamos, pardon, iniciamos con the question de continuous. 
Estuvimos viendo solo las formas afirmativas, negativas y las preguntas de sí. Now we're going to talk about W's questions or information questions, right? That is the topic. Moving on. Remember, this is the way we use the present continuous. Don't forget this. We use the present continuous to talk about an action that is in progress or happening now. Again, for example, I am talking. I am talking. You are listening to the class, right? Those are actions in progress or actions that are happening now. Okay, now let's focus with the WH questions. WH questions or information questions. Let's see a formula we use. The formula is this one. We have a WH word plus the verb be. What is a verb be, guys, by the way? What is a verb be? Um, is um, or um, or is. Exactly, that is a verb. Am um, or is. Verb. Am um, or is. Very good. So we use a verb. Whatever of these, of those forms, we use them in the questions, right? Verb plus the subject plus the verb in 94 plus a compound. Okay, let me ask you something before to, to show you the example. Do you know WH words? What WH words do you remember? What? What? Who? 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 Where? 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 When? 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 Why? Why? We have what time? Who's? 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 Yes. Yeah, we have more right. Very good. Okay, now that we know the WH words, we're going to use them in this forms. This form. Let's see one example. Remember, this is the way we form the verbs in ING form. Esa es la forma como eh, construimos los verbos en ING. And we have the base form, go, play, work, listen. And we say going, playing, working, listening. Let's see an example. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? You can tell me, well, right now I'm listening to the class. I'm listening to the class now. What are you doing now? Okay. Every, every WH word has a purpose. Okay. For example, what? What is used for things? For things. Or we can say activities. What is the purpose of what? What are you doing? So we're asking for an action an activity. I am listening to the class. Ese es el propósito de la primera palabra. Primera palabra, WH word, right? What? La utilizamos para mencionar alguna actividad, alguna acción que estamos haciendo. What are you doing now? Again, I am listening to the class. Let's see. What about if I ask you, Rolando, what are you doing now? I am listening to the class. Yeah, I am listening to the class. Uh, Jennifer, what are you doing now? I am listening to the class. Yeah, very good. What are you doing now, Alejandro? I am listening to the class. Yeah. Paula, what are you doing now? I am listening to the class. Exactly. Kevin, what are you doing now? 
I am listening and watching to the class. Okay. Ingrid, what are you doing now? I listening to the class. Okay, I'm listening to the class. Um, thank you. Leah, what are you doing now? I am listening to the class. Yeah, remember, listen. I am listening to the I class. I am listening to the class. Yes, in IG form. Very good. Okay, questions so far? Preguntas acá? Josué? Teacher, podría ser, bueno, este, por ejemplo, dos verbos, ¿va? por ejemplo, ese que está puesto ahí que I am listening to the class, um, drinking, and? coffee, oh, drinking, yeah, very good, drinking coffee, yes, you can, you can, I am listening to the class and drinking coffee, yeah, you have two actions. You are performing two actions at the same time. I am listening to the class and I am drinking coffee. Be good. I am listening to the class What's and drinking videos? coffee. Yes. You can. You can. Very good. Questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Un comentario? Teacher, y ahí este... Para, bueno, sí, bueno, va a depender va, del, 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 del momento. Va. Pero va, así como yo pienso que, que, que a mí me cuesta va, para saber el, 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 cuándo es que se está usando el, el present continuo. Oh, ok. It depends on the context. It depends on the context. Depende del contexto. For example, imagine Jose that we are speaking right now, okay? So we are, let's say, what? Let me see. We meet, right? We, we're meeting. So we are, let's say, in Metro Center, for example. We're speaking, right? And I'm, ask, I'm, ask, I'm asking you, right? Like, uh, what are you doing now, Jose? You tell me, well, I am buying some, some clothes or I am buying some shoes because we are in the center, right? And I see you, I meet you, and I ask you, I say, what are you doing? Oh, I'm buying some shoes. Cool. Okay, so we meet, Jose, we meet. You are in Metro Center and I am in Metro Center too. Okay. Nos encontramos, vamos en un lugar y nos conocemos, right? And I, I ask him, okay, Jose, what are you doing now? Well, I'm buying some shoes, or I'm looking for a new computer, for example. Va a depender del contexto. Okay. Si nos reunimos, por ejemplo, o nos encontramos sin querer, y somos conocidos, y te pregunto, ¿qué está haciendo? You can tell me, well, I am looking for a new computer or I am buying a new cell phone, or I am eating, or I am looking for, for a restaurant, etc. Okay? But it is different, Jose, when I ask you, Jose, what do you do on your free time? Or what do you do on Sundays? Different. What do you do on Sundays? Mm -hmm. okay. Because this is simple present. I'm asking you for a routine, Jose. Acá le estoy preguntando por actividades diarias, una rutina. What do you do on Sundays? You can tell me, Jose, I go out with my friends on Sundays. But the context is different. Okay. Simple, simple present and present continuous. Okay, um, teacher, so thank you. You're welcome. But else, Claudia, I think, or I don't know who. Si alguna pregunta quería decir algo. Hi, teacher. 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 Hi,
eh, que si se valía I am sleeping in, on Sunday. I am sorry. Okay. I am sleeping on Sunday. No, you say I sleep. I sleep, sleep. Uh, on Sundays, or you can say I sleep on Sundays, or you can say I take a rest on Sundays, or I rest, just rest. Ya los verbos están en forma base, no utilizamos ING, porque acá son ya actividades diarias. As we know, daily activities, daily routines. Okay. So we don't say, I am sleeping now, or I am sleeping on Sundays, for example. No, we don't use present continuous. We use simple present. I sleep on Sundays. Because it's something that you do every Monday. Es algo que se hace cada domingo. Y cuando utilizamos el present continuous, porque es una actividad en progreso. Está sucediendo. Okay. Does it make sense? Claro. Yes, no. Sorry, Claudia. Yes, gracias. Teacher, y este, yeah. yo había visto una, esa pregunta, pero solo así, what, what are you doing? ¿Es correcto o, o, o tendría que llegar el, el agregado now? No. So again, it depends on the context. So imagine that we we meet, we meet in Metro Center. So I see you and you see me, right? Imagine que nos, o pretendamos que nos encontramos. Hemos conocido, nos encontramos. Y le pregunto, hey, what are you doing, Jose? You tell me what. Well, I'm buying some shoes. Or I'm looking for... I'm looking for a new cell phone. Yeah, you can say just, what are you doing? Yeah. So we understand that we are having something in progress. Okay. Nosotros entendemos, sabemos que estamos en un contexto y estamos haciendo actividades en progreso. Okay. Does it make sense, Jose? Is it clear? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Jose. No problem. Karen, yeah. Teacher, y para ayudarle al compañero, no sería como que para cuando él tenga que contestar con el ING, es cuando en sí le están en la pregunta va también el ING inmerso. Exactly. No sería así. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Como para que él, digamos que uno sepa que tiene que contestar así, ¿va? es cuando ya la pregunta le está diciendo en sí que tiene que contestar así. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's something important. When you listen to a question, you identify what the tense is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very simple present, we need to respond in simple present form. If it is present continuous, we have to respond with the present form. We, okay. need, to keep, we need to pay attention or we need to listen to the question, right? Eso sí, es muy importante prestar atención a la pregunta y con base en la pregunta responder. Si estamos utilizando el tiempo del presente simple, respondemos de forma, de esa forma, en simple present o presente simple. Si estamos, o alguien nos hace una pregunta en presente continuo, pues estamos con el presente continuo. Siempre hay que basarnos y tener cuidado de escuchar bien la pregunta, si la estamos observando, ver qué tiempo es, si lo present, present continuous, y responder con base a la pregunta. Okay. Eso es, es bien clave. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for the, the comment. You're welcome, teacher. Here. Okay, let's continue with the present continuous. And these are information questions. We can call them like information questions, so we can say WH questions. Okay. WH questions or information questions. The same. Okay. Here we have again the structure, the formula that we follow. And here we have more examples. Again, what? 
the purpose is for things or activities or actions that you're doing, right? What is your friend writing on the envelope? Okay. What is your friend writing on the envelope? So we're asking for an action or activity that is going on, right? This one. Okay, what? What is your friend writing on the envelope? We can say my friend, the answer, my friend is writing a letter. Let's say, let's be more specific, a romantic letter. Okay. What is your friend writing on the envelope? He or she is writing a romantic letter. Writing a romantic letter. That is the action. That is the action. That is the way or the purpose of how we use what. What about why? Do you remember what is the purpose of why? What is the purpose of the palabra why? When do we use it? When do we use it? Por qué? Exactly. And what do we express? ¿Qué expresamos? What do we express? When we say because, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? The answer. Somos... The answer. Yeah, we, yeah, we have an answer. We have an answer. I'm sorry? ¿Por qué se usa tal cosa? Yeah, I mean, when do we use why? Porque como pensamos, cuando pensamos why? We, we give, give a reason. Okay, a reason or an explanation. That is the purpose of why. That's the purpose of the word why. Damos una razón, damos una justificación o una explicación. Okay? Well, the question says, why are you crying? Why are you crying? It could be, I am crying because, or what, I don't know. Um, well, my dog died. I am crying because my dog died. This is the reason. This is the reason, right? I am crying because my dog died. That is where we use why. Next, where? When do we use where? What is the purpose of where? Do you remember? Place. Yeah, a place. Or it could be a position. Puede ser para un lugar o una posición. Where? The question says, where are the boys going? The question is, where are the boys going? Remember, we follow the structure. Now is were, for be, subject, the voice, going is a very nice form. We can say, they are going to, Rotan, no, that voice, sorry. <laughs> they are going to, what, I don't know, to school, school. Okay, so this is the place. Where are the boys going? They are going to school. That is the purpose of where? We specify, we say a place. School is a place. Yeah. Eh, the na, na, where? También podría ser the, they're eh, playing, playing soccer. Oh. Okay, but in that, in that case, it's different. So the question could be like, we use what? What are the boys, and we say doing? So it's different. If you want to say they are playing soccer, you use what? They are playing soccer. Because we're asking for an action. In this case, it's different. No puede ser where. Debe ser what. What are the boys doing? Boys are playing soccer. Que nos estamos refiriendo a una acción. But, Rolando, if you want to say that, you can say, 
they are going to the soccer field in order to play soccer. It's different because now, yeah, we have the answer. Where are the boys going? They are going to the soccer field in order to play soccer. Este caso es diferente. Podría ser de esa forma. Ellos van a la cancha de, de fútbol para jugar ese deporte. Ahí sí es diferente, ahí sí aplica, porque tenemos el lugar. Se te pide. Teacher, teacher y, 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 pero cuando nos referimos al lugar, no es que sea generalizado ese lugar. Porque, bueno, yo le, lo que le, medio, medio le comprendí al compañero, por ejemplo, del lugar, vas, eh, eh, por ejemplo, como le, como le digo, digamos que la cancha está ubicada en tal lugar, una colonia X, por ejemplo, a, a eso, si no, a eso eh, medio le comprendí yo al compañero, ¿va? no exactamente no. van a jugar en una cancha. ¿va? Ok. Algo así, no sé. Yeah, Rolando, can you repeat the example that you said? Puedes repetir el ejemplo que me dijo? If they are playing, they, their boys playing soccer. The boys are playing soccer, right? Soccer. Okay. okay. En ese caso, no. Porque esa es una opción. Tendría que ser what. Okay. No puede ser where, porque okay, where es específicamente para lugares o posiciones. Ok, si decimos, the boys are playing soccer, no, so we don't have a place in there. No tenemos un lugar ahí en, en la oración. Y es una acción, no es un, nos referimos a un lugar. So in this case is, what are the boys doing? They are playing soccer. Sería la repregunta y la respuesta. If you want to say that idea, they are playing soccer, but if you want to use it in another way, you can say they are going to the soccer field in order to play. So you know to play, only that, because it's redundant. Es redundante si decimos play soccer. Eh, aquí se aplica. Why? Because the soccer field is un lugar. Soccer field sería la cancha de fútbol. Ahí se aplica y podría estar de esa forma según la idea que nos comparte Rolando. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Remember, where is for places? For places, so yeah. Let's continue with whose. That is another one. Whose car is Pedro driving? Whose car is Pedro driving? Whose car is Pedro driving? What do we use whose? Do you remember? What is the purpose? What's the purpose of this word? For the questions. Person. Person. But that is who. That is who. Who is for people. Whose is for possessions. Possessions. Okay. For example, whose car is Pedro driving? We can say, whose car is Pedro driving? Pedro is driving uh, his, his father's car. So this is the answer. The car belongs to his father. En este caso, el carro pertenece o es de su padre. Esa es la posición. Pedro is driving his father's car. That, that is where we use food. Okay. And again, we continue with the present continuous. Whose car is driving, is Pedro driving, sorry. Pedro is driving his father's car. 
Let's continue. Let's go with when. Let's say preguntas for as a moment. As a pregunta. A W is word. Oops. Any questions? Hello, questions? Preguntas? No? No, teacher. Okay, what do we use when? What is the purpose of when? That's for time. For time, yes. For example, we have a question here. When are James and Jose buying a new laptop? When are Jose, James and Jose buying a new laptop? We can say Jane and Jose are buying a new laptop yeah. next no. Saturday. Next no. Saturday. No. When? So we're expressing time. Next Saturday. No. Next Saturday. And we continue with the pressing continuous. Pressing continuous. Remember, W is word, verb B, subject, game and Jose. Buy-in is a, a very nice form. A new laptop is a compliment. Okay. Let's go with the last one. Who? Who, as you say, is for people. We have, who is fixing your car? Who is Fixing the car. Who? You can say, my father is fixing my car. Who? My father. My father. That is a person. Who is fixing your car? My father is fixing my car. Okay, so this is the way we use who, as for people. And as you can see, we have a WH word, a verb be, but we don't have a subject. But the number of we talk about. Why? Because this is a subject question. Okay, subject question. And we're looking for a subject. The subject is my father. That's why it's a subject question with who. Solamente con who. Esa es una pregunta um, estructurada de diferente forma. Y estamos en busca de un sujeto. But what about if you say who? Who are you working with? It's different. Now we have a WH word. We have a verb B. Have a subject now. Have a very nice form, and we have a complement. But this is an object question. Object question. And now we say, I am working with, uh, let's say, Sara. Who? With Sara. So this is an object question, and this is a subject question. What is the difference? Is that in one question, in the subject question, we don't have a subject. We don't have a subject in the question. But the difference is that in the first question, in the first form, we don't have a subject in the question. We are looking for a subject. In the second question, we know the subject, and we use it. Pero estamos buscando un objeto. Un objeto. En ese caso, la persona, right? La diferencia. 
que se ve muy oscuro. Tenemos esas dos formas. ¿Eh? ¿Preguntas? ¿Acá? ¿Por acá? ¿Todo bien? Pichel, ¿podría, ¿Eh? podría, si me lo voy a explicar otra vez esas dos, esas dos yeah. preguntas. Yeah, when you, when you use who, you have two possibilities. We have one form that it is called subject question. In this one, we don't have a subject in the in the question. In the question, who is fixing your car? Who is the WH word? The verb be is. We don't have a subject. Fixing is a very nice form. Your car is a component. So we're looking for a subject. We want to know who, who is fixing the car. So I can say, if I answer the question, my father is fixing the car. You want to change it, you can say, the mechanic is fixing my car. The mechanic is the subject. In the answer, right? In the answer. With the second possibility, we have a subject in the question. La segunda opción tenemos un sujeto en la pregunta. Okay. If I ask you, who are you working with? And now this is an update question. Okay. I can say, I am working with Sara. Who? With Sara. And we have a subject because we have a subject in the question. Acá si tenemos un sujeto, una pregunta y un sujeto. Eh, de inicio, right? sería en ese caso yo. I am working with Sara. En la primera opción no tenemos un sujeto en la pregunta. Somos en busca de un sujeto y ese sujeto va al inicio. Esta es la diferencia. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, uh, questions? This is the way we ask questions with the present continuous. Information questions or W questions. Preguntas? Dudas? Algo que no se claro? Teacher, yo no, yeah. la pregunta que le hice hace, hace rato era en base a esto, pero ya con este cuadrito que acaba de mostrar, ¿en qué momento identificar va lo que eh, la compañera dijo? A, a, o sea, en la misma pregunta va el, 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 lo del ING, va. Y yes. por eso era la pregunta, va, ¿cómo identificarlo? Porque aquí no, en este cuadro no refleja, hay cosas, preguntas que, que, que ya pasaron, va. Por ejemplo, en el WEN, es algo que ya pasó, pero, pero sí logro comprender va, eh, en la formulación del cuadrito este. Yeah. Y en base a eso era que yo hacía la pregunta. Very good, very good, yeah. So you have to focus on, yeah, the way we structure the questions and the way we listen to the question. Esa es la clave. A ver, la pregunta cómo se hace por ahora. Y saber, según cómo la escuchamos, qué tiempo es. Present continuous o simple present, por ejemplo. But now we're using simple present and present continuous. Ahí no quiero que nos confundamos. Antes solo estamos viendo, hemos visto simple present y estamos viendo ahorita present continuous. No quiero que nos eh, confundamos si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de simple past. Simple past o el pasado simple lo vamos a ver más adelante. Si es que vamos a pasos. Quiero que se confunda. Pero sí quiero que nos apliquemos y estemos bien claro cómo se utiliza present continuous, cómo se utiliza simple. Okay. Let me give you here some questions. And now I'm going to ask you these questions, right? right? Uh, for example, if I ask you, what are you doing right now? What can you tell me? Let's see. Um, Let's go with, see, okay, I want to select someone. Irving, Irving, what are you doing now? Or right now? I'm watching the class. Okay, very good. 
Okay. Uh, even can you select somebody else? Choose a classmate. Let's turn on your mask. Um, Martha and Lisa. Martha, okay. Can you ask the same question, number one? Martha? Hacer la pregunta, Martha, please. Okay. Uh, what is the teacher doing? Oh, okay. It's the last question, Marta. What is the teacher doing? What is the teacher doing? What is the teacher doing? Yeah, in this case, you can refer, the, you can relate the question to me, right? What is the teacher doing? Eh, tengo un poquito de duda con es el presente, eh, el present continuo y el, el simple, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita no, no tengo clara la respuesta que debo de dar ahí. Quisiera... Por ejemplo. Eh, teacher is writing. No. Teacher is answering the question. Now, okay. so the action Martha is happening now, and the question refers to that. La pregunta se refiere a eso. La acción que está pasando. Esta no nos enfoquemos en la acción. ¿Todo? La acción, ahí dice, what is the teacher doing? What is the teacher now. doing right now? The teacher is answering the question. That's what I did, right? Eso es lo que estaba haciendo. Right? Thank, este, excuse me, teacher. Ahí sí me... Estoy un poquito confundida. Ok, tell me, tell me. Oh, no. Quiero que se confunda con el simple press. Okay? Estamos de un lado del simple press. Vamos a confundir. Okay. Okay. People present is, is useful. Teams, habits, daily activities, etc. And right now, the present continues reducing, reducing it for actions that are happening now. Okay, actions que están realizando en el momento. Exactly. Okay. For example, when you say, Martha, I go to work at 7 a.m. That is a routine. That is a routine or that is a daily activity. Daily activity. Okay. But if you say in the person continues, example, right now, I can say, Martha is Listen. Listen. The explanations. Okay. This, this is happening now. Okay, okay. Esa es la diferencia. Bien, este lado. Tengo duda. Excuse me. Ahorita tengo claro. Pero, pero todavía. Now let me ask you, um, Marta. What is the teacher doing now? The teacher. The teacher is listening. Está. Ejemplo en el en el documento de Word. Está. Escribiendo, pero como... Yeah. Como, pero, so you can say, the teacher typing, is typing. Typing. Uh, comp uh, the computer? In the computer, yes. In, in the, the computer. computer. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. The teacher is typing in the computer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is way okay. Right. okay. The teacher is typing in the computer. Exactly. So that is an action that is happening now. An action okay. is happening Okay, okay. Sí. Thank you. Es que, es yeah. que tenía, tenía, 
esa confusión la tengo, siempre me confundo entre el present simple y continuo, pero aquí yeah. me está quedando claro. Yeah, thank no you, problem. teacher. No problem. Thank you, it's, teacher. Okay, it's a thank pleasure. you. It's a pleasure. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. Uh, what is the difference in writing and typing? Typing, yeah, writing. So you do it by hand, writing. The most a man, right? Writing. Oh, Typing okay. means that you do in a in a device, in a computer, in a cell phone. But it's typing. Okay. No escribimos, sino que digitamos. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Sin embargo, hay personas que lo usan como writing. For example, write some sentences in the Word document or write some sentences in the chat. Pero supongo que lo usan así como nosotros, um, como los modismos coloquiales de, de cada yeah, persona. Exactly. Exactly. That is the difference. That is the difference. Okay, what about if I ask you, let me select some other participants. Se preguntas, ah, no se preocupen. Y eh, la idea es que aclaremos dudas, ¿ok? No quiero que nos confundamos. People present, el present continuous, que son diferentes muchos. Eso es. ¿Ok? No se preocupen. Uh, let's see. What about if I ask you, want to select someone? Mirna Batres. What is your mother doing now? What is your mother doing now? Mm, I don't know, teacher, but I think um, my mother is watching TV. Okay, yeah, very good. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that, that's, a, that's a speculation that Mirna has, right? Esa es una especulación que tiene Mirna. Probablemente no esté viendo ahorita la acción que su padre está haciendo, pero es solamente... You know, we have. Very good. Thank you, Mirna. Uh, let's see. William, what is your class? No, let's see. Let's be more specific. Uh, what is Alejandro doing, William? What is Alejandro doing? Look at Alejandro. Look at Alejandro. Hey, Alejandro. What is Alejandro doing? What is Alejandro doing? I can see that Alejandro has a pen and he is? Uh, Alejandro is writing. Exactly. Alejandro is writing. Alejandro is writing. It could be an idea. Very good, William. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to select somebody else. Um, Norma, what are you doing now, Norma? What are you doing now? Yeah, um, you can ask me, you can ask, no problem. You can ask me if you don't know how to express idea. Me puede preguntar, ¿eh? No se preocupe. Sí, es que si ahorita, sinceramente, me está costando bastante esta clase, profe. Ok. Dígame, no se preocupe. Si gusta, dígame su idea eh, en español, probablemente. Yo le ayudo en inglés. Ajá. What are you doing now? ¿Qué está haciendo ahorita? Ah, ok. Um, recibiendo la clase. Ok. O un class uh, of English. Ok, I am having an English class now. You can say that in that way, Norma. I am having, better for me, I am having. I am having. Yeah, an English class an now. English class now. Exactly. Very good. That's what you're doing, right? Eso es lo que se está haciendo ahorita. Claro que sí. What are you doing now? Normal said, I am having 
an English class now. Okay, very good. Okay, normal? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Josue, what are you doing now, Josue? Uh, I am uh, you can you can ask me, you can how, ask me. How do you say? How do you say este aprendiendo? Oh okay. Very good. You can say I am learning. I am learning about the present continuous. I am learning about the present continuous. Very good. Yeah. That is an action that you're doing now, right? Very good. This is an action que está estudiando o pasando. Very good. It is. What are you doing now? I'm listening in the class. I am listening to the class. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Claudia, what are you doing now? I am listening a classmate. Okay. I am listening to a classmate. Escuchando a un compañero, ¿se refiere a eso? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. No problem. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Questions, guys. Questions about present continuous. We don't use questions. Preguntas. Dudas. No nos quedemos con dudas. Preguntemos. Hay dudas. Preguntemos. Háganme saber, por favor. No question. Thank you. Okay, listen. Here we have an exercise. What I want you to do, I need you to look at the exercise that's provided, read the questions and answers with the correct form of the present continuous. What do we have here? Tenemos los siguientes ejercicios y tenemos have a picture, right? So we have different people in there. We have Evan, Bindi, Dad, Baby Ben, Greg Masu, and we have Yusuf. Yusuf is a dog, right? Yusuf is a dog. What do we have to do? We need to make full questions about the picture. Then answer the questions. You have to look at the pictures, you have to make the questions and you need to answer the questions. Vamos a ver la imagen, las acciones que están sucediendo en esta imagen. Vamos a escribir las preguntas, vamos a construir y vamos a contestar las preguntas. Base en lo que observemos en esta sección. We have five, five questions. Listen, we have just the prompts, just the prompts, some phrases. Tenemos solamente algunas palabras, algunas frases, Claves. No tenemos toda la pregunta. Es el propósito. Ustedes construyen la pregunta. Tenemos un ejemplo. Example. What even where? We have three words. Tenemos tres palabras. Tenemos a WH word, have a subject, and we have a verb. Tenemos una palabra. Al iniciar la pregunta, what? Tenemos un sujeto, that. Tenemos un verbo que está en forma base, no está en ING. What, what the is question that? is, Drinking. what is Evan wearing? What is Evan wearing? So let's locate Evan. This is okay. Evan. This is Evan. This is Evan, right? Yeah. Evan or his wearing trousers. 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 Okay. 
What is the answer? Browsers, browsers equals hands. Hands. Browsers. Okay, what is Eva wearing? He's wearing browsers. Okay, what I want you to do, I need you to continue with the other questions. I think I'm going to assign you this as a practice, as a homework, it's almost time. But I need to focus and I need to work on this. Okay. Remember, let's go question by question. Look at the picture. And I think I'm going to send you this uh, extra homework. Let's do practice. Let's do this exercise. Practice. Are you? Para que ustedes bajen en su casa, right? Vamos a hacer la primera juntos. La primera juntos. Y después se quedan trabajando ustedes con los pasos. Okay, can you help me? The words are, sorry. Okay. Okay, the words are what, that, and dream. What do you think? What is the question? What is that drink? Is drinking? Exactly. That drinking. What is that drinking? That is the question in the present continuous. What is the answer? Look at the picture. Look at that. He is drinking coffee. He is drinking. Good. He is drinking coffee. It could be coffee. It could be tea. It could be chocolate. I don't know. It depends. Water. Water. Oh, yeah. In this case, the liquid is brown. Yeah, it's like a brown. Like a liquid. Okay. 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 Now, I need you to continue with the other ones. Number two, number three, number four, number five. So I'm going to assign you this as a homework. I need you to practice with the present continuous. And, well, I need to know if you have any questions. Lo que quiero que hagamos es que tomemos una captura de pantalla para que ustedes puedan trabajar en los ejercicios. Vamos a hacer la primera. Quiero que sigamos el ejemplo y sigamos con la siguiente, número 2, 3, la número 5. Que vamos a una captura y vamos a trabajar en eso. ¿Okay? Entonces, hay preguntas, dudas. ¿No? Vamos a ver si les puedo mandar la captura yo acá. Hmm. Pero igual, quiero que tengamos la captura para que ustedes puedan trabajar en los ejercicios. Voy a dejar trabajando una vez finalicemos. Vamos a ver si hay preguntas. ¿Están haciendo esas preguntas? No. 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 Bueno, no me deja compartir los ¿Preguntas? Teacher, yo le envié al grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, perfecto, muchas gracias. You're welcome. Muy bien. Alexi. Mirna, Patrick, yeah. Yes, Tell me. And, and the mm -hmm. second, and the answer, and I, I, I can say, it's baby Ben. I, I don't know, and um, I can say ips for the person. Mm, no, you can say, and let me help you with number two. What do you think? Who play who, with a ball? Who is play, playing with a ball? The okay. answer? The answer you begin, baby Ben, the subject. Uh -huh. Baby Ben. The subject. Yes, playing with a ball. Yeah, we begin with the subject. Baby okay. Ben. Thank you. You're welcome. This is number two. I'm going to share this in the chat. You can follow the samples and continue working with the other ones. 
Okay. Questions for today? Recuerden, esta va a ser una práctica, una tarea extra para ustedes. Quiero que trabajemos esos ejercicios. Sus compañeros por ahí enviaron eh, la captura. Muchas gracias. Se las saben esas preguntas. Entonces, eh, realizado. Everything clear? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo claro? Bueno, vamos a quedarnos hasta acá. Recuerden, por favor, Marta, las dos preguntas. No, teacher. Ok. Recuerden, y tenemos hasta ahora, creo que la mayoría he completado, pero hago nuevamente el decoratorio, por si alguien hace falta con el panel test o alguna actividad de la sección 5 específicamente, y debemos de finalizar ese día. Tenemos hasta las 11.59. O sea, si ya finalizamos y todos hemos finalizado, uh, thank you, congratulations, and yeah, so you have completed all the activities. Thank you. Es que, bueno, los veo mañana, a la misma hora, la última sesión, la última clase. And well, thank you, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for your time. We will continue tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay safe. And blessings. Blessings to you and your families. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good bye. Good night. 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 Good